a danger man in this draw, surfing so well and having a, a bit of a breakthrough year performance-wise. Forget the contest results, Seth Moniz is doing some of his best surfing leading into the Pipe Invitational. If in doubt, don't go out. Well, we found two of our finalists for the Pipe Invitational. We're going to hear from one of them in a moment, but right now, taking off and tucking in is Finn McGill. Well, right in the bucket ball through that one, but couldn't find the exit. Let's hear from Benji Brown with Kaipo. Because that's the most important thing. It's not necessarily about all about the win. Movement here from the man in red, Finn McGill. This wave's going to pinch. He jumps off. And on the left, we've got Seth Moniz in the green. And Hank Gaskell is up. Big carb, just lost the fins. At the end of that turn there, 23 minutes remaining. Jack Robinson just stalls his takeoff to set up this pit. Punches through that whitewater section. And wow. quickly jumps out. He wants to get that priority back. He's going to have priority. And he's taking control early. You see that? Drifts out and then realizes, oh, I can kick right out here. And get ahead of Finn. But look at the technique. Again, front rail stall to get underneath it. Quickly in the barrel. Realizes it's going to pinch and almost drifts down to the bottom. So that he can get out of the exit rather than staying up high, because generally that'll keep you way too high up. Quick little backhand tube from Seth, and goes to maneuvers to finish this wave out. And then a bigger set wave for Hank Gaskell. Gets a little free on the fins there and actually puts him off kilter. And a throwaway score for Finn McGill. So all four competitors getting the ride, but it looks like Seth Bonise is going to get the best of it. You know, we used to call it a Marvin, you know, but look at here. Again, everything's always forward on the board, though, you know, especially if you want to slow down a little bit. You can do that from the front edge of your board by stuffing that rail in there and, and holding the rail. And then, of course, the technique of dragging the arm, you know, is always good. You're just putting brakes on, you know, and, and when it's peaky like this, the barrels don't run, you know. Sometimes they will, and you got to pump through it, but it's that speed control. So if you could sit next to a rip or close to it, Generally, if you know a wave's going to come in, you're going to surf away from the rip and go into the clean water. So it is like beach break style, style of surfing out here. Well, even though that rip current's tearing through these lefts, Seth Moniz is fixated. After uh, getting a six on his last ride, he's ducked into another pit here, and he's going to find a, a backup number that's going to put him further out in front. Some movement here at the takeoff zone, and looking at the back door is Jack Robinson. Some of the best in the world, again, taking off under the lid. Like, that was completely standing up as the wave was already over the top of him. He hadn't even gotten to his feet. Locking in a nine-point ride earlier. And this slow-mo replay brought to you by the Worm app, an interactive slow-motion app with amazing action sports content. And I love these slow-mos. Yeah, he was actually talking about that wave and how he was so off balance, he had no idea how it looked. He thought in his mind, he's like, well, maybe it looked good, but you have no idea. He was just going pretty much blind and was able to get an exit there and get the nine-point ride. Great stuff. The judges love the look of it. Jack Robinson finding a, a bit of cover there. He's just going to get rid of the point eight three, and he almost sticks at another air reverse on the end section, this time on the back end. And then you drag your bum to slow down. Look at this. Undulates, undulates twice there to get the extra speed and then slows down to maximize the tube time. And that's that technique on the back end that you have to have here for great tube riding skills at Pipeline. And Jack Robinson is out in front and took another wave during the break. Trying to figure out which way to get into that barrel and maximize the tube time. You can see stall, pickup speed, you know, indecisive off the bottom. Didn't really give him much uh, action, but it looks like live here. Back up once again, punching through that first section. At the time, a former pipe master himself. It was Mike Ho. Made the heat, the final heat of the pipe masters in 97 against Johnny Boy Gomes. You know, a lot of times you'll see that at Pipeline. You'll see one good wave mixed with an average backup. Um, the, you know, it's, we do occasionally see those big, big totals, but uh, pipe isn't necessarily known for that. Well, Hank would love one of those high-scoring rides now. He needs a nine to make the jump from fourth place in the second position at this point in time. 
Just over four and a half minutes to go. Jack's very busy out there at the moment. Seth Monet's getting slapped down. Get into a part of the reef where it actually goes, because it's uneven. The bottom is uneven. So it's not always going to be a perfect barrel. Well, Seth picks this one up on the inside after getting dumped on that last left. He finds a nice pit. Great little rebate on his way back out. And I think that's the allure of pipeline. This here, it's ups and downs, and sand fills it, and you just don't know what every wave's going to do. And beautiful little audible here from Seth Moniz trying to improve on that 3.77 and solidify in this last five minutes. Again, stalling techniques there. Look how deep his arm is stuck in the wall on the forehand. You can put the pressure on the front foot to stall off the rail, but also the arm placement, it stabilizes everything too. Well, Finn is up. He's been quiet in this semi-final heat after having a, a fantastic run through round one in the quarters. This might be his last shot at it. He's going to take off and grab the wall, tuck in, punches through that white water. Determined to hang on to this one, but... You know, we were seeing those outer, outer reefs, you know, feather throughout the day. Not, not much now. Have a look at this thing for Jack Robinson. So deep in the barrel. He's still going. Can he hang on? He's bouncing around on the foam. He throws an arm up. <laughs> ah, that was a good sell. Well, <laughs> usually the judges like to see you get back out in front of that white water. But Jack Robinson covered so much distance in that pit, rode over that foam ball and was hanging on with everything he's got. Let's have another look at it. Uh, and he did, he had priority over Finn, but look at this barrel, weaving, pumping, driving, doing everything he can. This is where it shuts down, he's there. And uh, there is that little power fist to claim. But look at the technique again, low center of gravity, those little twitch bottom turns to gain speed inside of the barrel. Each time getting a little extra squirt, a little extra speed, section after section. And there, realizing it's going to shut down, he turns down, and that's where he sees it trying to make it. He's there. <laughs> it's not going to matter, really. I mean, yes, 